I made a video a while back when the Slate VSX came out um, showing people how to get system-wide VST processing so they could listen to reference material and sort of calibrate their ears or just enjoy music through the various sort of Slate emulated rooms. The program that I was using was called Equalizer APO, but it had some drawbacks and uh, basically the two second pause to give your ears a break between switching rooms didn't work. Switching your profiles in the updated version that had introduced ear profiles didn't work, and the EQ didn't seem to work either. Um, so yeah, I found a program and it's called Pedalboard Two by a guy called Niall Moody. I'll leave a link in the description to this, and I'll try to walk you through as best I can what to do to get this working properly. So first thing you need is the Pedalboard Two app. You can see here the VSX is running fine in it. Another thing, when you set it up, you double click on this blank area and the VST selection panel will come up and then you just select what plugin you want to run. So in this case VSX. Then what you want to do is drag from here to here and here to here. I know it's pretty finicky. If I go across here it won't work. Like it, It's a little bit sort of finicky to use, but works fine. So you have to click on those few pixels and drag them to those other few pixels. So you got your input and your output. Now the other thing that you need is a thing called a VB Audio Virtual Cable, which is a free download. This is free as well, Pedalboard 2. And um, yeah, you have to install VB Virtual Audio Cable, which is from the same guys that make voice meter, banana, and all that kind of stuff. Then you restart your machine, and in the audio settings, you want to select Windows Audio. Basically, you want to select your audio interface. Input is VB Audio Cable. Output will be your audio interface. So, in this case, I'm using a Audio Evo 8. The reason I'm using the Audio Evo 8 is because it has loopback built into it. So it makes it very easy to do screen captures with voiceover and record the audio on a SIO audio and things like that. Really cool feature of a really nice interface. This is the mic preamps as well on that, just going through a Slate ML1. And they sound really nice as well. Another important thing is that you need to make sure that the sample rate of the VB audio cable, virtual audio cable, is the same as your interface. So in my case, I've got them both set to uh, 24 bit, 48 kilohertz. So yeah, you'll not get any audio coming out through it if you don't have those two things set up correctly. And you probably want to just go through and set all the uh, VB audio virtual cable settings to what you normally use, just in case. Particularly if you're using um, microphone inputs like I am. And then once you've got that done, if you're listening to this on VSX headphones, you'll be able to hear this, but I'll play one of my own tracks. Volume as well is working, which wasn't working. The output didn't work on the equalizer APO. So that's profile one. You can hear the change there. Profile two. Switch to the midfields. Switch to HD linear too. The Stevens room. Farfield.
Hopefully you can hear the, the EQ. So yeah, BB Audio, Virtual Cable, and Pedalboard 2 is what you need if you want stable, real-time control of um, BSX and other plugins, whatever you're wanting to run through it. So works really well. A um, lot more of an elegant sort of setup than Equalizer APO. Plus, when I close this down, I can see if this is a preset and... It's not permanently running in the background, which Equalizer APO was, and I found a little bit of strange behavior there with having it running in the background like that. So yeah, hopefully that is helpful. Cheers.